Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I am I am planning to show you that how I I oil and I clean all of these bearing plates and it's it's very important step because uh, when I clean out this all all surface in here that they are now clean and there is no any dirty in these things next step is that I need to oil this uh, connection roads this bearing plates and and there, there is now four of those connection roads and there is one two three and four and all of those we need to do following steps and it happens so that there is this connection road and first we take this connection road bearing plate out that we little bit move that aluminium plate in this, this area in this bottom and then it automatically comes in here and, and in, in that work we need again cotton material cotton cloth is best but I have white soft paper and it's okay and a next step is to clean out all of these piston ring uh, this uh, sorry this this uh, this bearing plates this is special material and, and it means that both sides really carefully all that that place that place and then this sides and what the cleaner then better this is like first one and then second step is that when there is this connection road that we need to clean out also that connection road this uh, this bearing area in here and and it it happens I take that picture and it happens so that I take I take first this bearing plate out and then I clean I clean this this bearing plate and then I have that that area and in, in here I need to clean out this area in this my paper also all dirty things away and carefully that it is clean cool and then we check that when there is this this there is this oily hole so this is oily in there this is like this uh, where is this oil goes in that hole that everything is clean and also in in that these both plates that there is no any any glue or or anything else in there and I clean that in this way and then visual check that everything is clean okay and then we have this bearing plate and a next step when we go in one by one now I insert that in back in there we go in this number one piston that is in there and there was I I cleaned that already and I need to clean that surface too carefully on those plates and then visual check okay this look, looks good and, and this was also uh, good and then you you might remember that there is in Toyota way this small uh, this this uh, bending in this bearing plate only one place and that's meaning is that these plates goes in that hole in here there's hole in this way that and it is easy to install so that only a little bit and then only press down with the thumb 
and it's, it goes very nicely, very easy to install. Super superior engineering, and it, it fits like in there. It's like welded, almost. And and but but this was not not the uh, uh, final step when we install this connection road bearings. We need always now when we install any part, it's good rule in any part in this engine. In when where where is this uh, bearing or bearing plate or any mo metallic plates where is this parts moving? In all of these parts, we has, must to add oil a little bit. And I have here, and it is normal motor oil. It's normal motor oil. And I have here small, small this uh, this bottle. Where is where is this motor oil? It is very very handy to use. And and then there is this cap. And, and now I I insert this my oil in that surface a little bit. In that amount, and now I'm happy because I know that that now at least this this bearing plate in that area in this inside area is oily because and then I press this this bearing plate back back in this hole. Okay, and then then next and this is now. Ready. It's weight this uh, crankshaft. Okay, good. And then I do next next to this uh, this second connection road bearing, and 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 I take that away and a little bit oily, too small. Amounts one and two, and and this was normal mobile one motor oil. What I am using. Also, other good quality brands are suitable too. And there, there was this sign, and I insert that in back in there. Okay, now it's okay, and. And then I, I do also the same thing in this last two, and then I can say that that these connection roads bearings are are almost finally ready to this crankshaft installation. But before that, I think that I need to in install in. That I am, I am sure in also or a little bit this in outside bearing plate, and I take my oil, oil can, and I think that there I install also two small those oil oil drops are fine, and this this is okay, and and then I think that I. I insert in here also two two those oily things, and and now those two two connection roads bearing plates are ready, and then I finish these two in same way, and then we had we had uh, this. Um, Task that uh, when I have made these ready, I actually, actually I think that I I will do those right away. That 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 we can do this next bearing thing. Okay. I have 
re-clean these. Now they are in here, and then I drop this oily. These all, all these uh, connection roads are ready, and then we do same to these crankshaft bearings, and these crankshaft bearings are in here, and and they are also now they they are five, one two three four five, and they are the same idea that we take first this bearing out and it is almost similar bearing plate but it is bigger than those connection grows and first step was this cleaning nice cleaning I clean this carefully and then this area also because there is those oily oil goes through and then I insert that a little bit later back and then next one and, the, and also and it, it's and it's good to good to clean also these holes in here inside all dirty particles away and 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 then we check that is there and it's good to change paper. I take new paper now. And then I go that that area. First cleaning those and then this paint. Visual check everything is okay. And then next one. Next one in here. It's clean and then, then this final one. And then this one. Okay, and then, then we need to install this oil. And this oiling happens so that that two Two oily in here. And then I insert that back. Back in there. And then, then check that, that these surfaces are in same plate as that this that this bearing plate is same as this plate. Then also in here, two step, and then this back. Okay, and now, now one part was missing. It, and I take that, and if if something drops in these cylinder holes. Then only you take those carefully, carefully out, and there is this missing part. Okay, good. Then I insert that in here. Good. And then I have one, one part left, and both of those need oil. They are all, and then these these parts back, and then 
then check that that these that these are in same shape that there is no any okay in this way okay and now now I think that I have I have made this uh, this bearings cleaning and oiling very well and next I can insert this crankshaft back in I can in install this crankshaft okay and uh, this was that video and thank you for watching and we continue